Now let's get back to today's message. Turn in your Bibles to Exodus chapter 12. We will have it up on the screen as well. Exodus chapter 12, verse 1 reads, The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, This month is to be for you the first month, the first month of your year. Tell the whole community of Israel that the tenth day of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one for each household. If any household is too small for a whole lamb, they must share one with their nearest neighbor, having taken into account the number of people there are. You are to determine the amount of lamb needed in accordance with what each person will eat. Verse 5, the animals you choose must be year-old males without defect. And you may take them from the sheep or the goats. Take care of them until the 14th day of the month when all the members of the community of Israel must slaughter them at twilight. Then they are to take some of the blood, put it on the sides and the top of the door frames of the houses where they eat the lambs. Verse 8 says that same night they are eat, uh, to eat the meat roasted over fire, along with bitter herbs and bread made without yeast. So let's walk through this scripture a little bit. Exodus chapter 12, verse 5, we read that it's on the 10th, day of Nisan that every man needs to inspect and choose a lamb for every household, for every family. And the Bible is clear to say it must be without defect. So the 10th of Nisan, according to Exodus chapter 12, is the day you're to select your uh, lamb. So this intense scrutinizing and inspections began on the lambs on the 10th of Nisan that were to be sacrificed just four days later at Passover. So you see, on the 10th of Nisan, Jesus Christ, riding into Jerusalem, not only presented himself as the king of Israel, but he also presented himself as the sacrificial lamb for proper inspection. Because if you read through the accounts, huh, over the next few days, while the priests were inspecting the lambs for Passover, Jesus would be thoroughly inspected by the Sanhedrin and others to be found unblemished as well. He would be inspected by Jew and Gentile alike. And then Pontius Pilate... Pontius Pilate would eventually speak those prophetic words and they would ring throughout all eternity. I find no fault in him. He was the perfect sacrificial lamb. Come on, put your hands together and give our God a praise. In other words, Pilate is saying he is an unblemished lamb. He is worthy for sacrifice. He is worthy to give his life. He is worthy to spill his blood for the atonement of sin. He's worthy, and whosoever will paint the blood on the doorpost on their heart will be passed over. Is there anybody in this house that's thankful that you got the blood of Jesus painted on the doorpost of your heart? To proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ To every nation, every generation To all creation to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ 